Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. So in the previous video, we made it to Castaway Cove and completed two bounties and also a errand over in Alma Moon. And before the video ended, we seen a thief carrying a big pot that he stole from this guy right here. And in this video, we're going to confront him about it. Now, I'm not going to do anything special in Castaway Cove because like Alma Moon, I want to actually get a little bit further into the game before I start the bounties and whatnot in this um, small little place. It's not much, but still, we'll take care of all the errands and the bounties and whatnot as soon as we get done with progressing the main story. But for now, let's go ahead and take care of this. And also off screen, I may you may have noticed I'm up a level or two. That's because I did a little bit of... Oh, there you go. That's because I did a little bit of level grinding, not intentionally, but I was looking for some star drops. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find one, but we will get, have the ability to steal things very soon. So let's just go ahead and continue on with the main story. And apparently this guy doesn't realize that he stole this big old pot. <laughs> what do I want with this piece of rubbish? If you want it, it's yours. Ah! 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 I'm sure it will make you very happy. See ya! Yeah, really. Stealing it just to be stealing it? Maybe he was broken hearted. Alright, well, we got a pot. <laughs> Let me guess, Drippy's gonna carry it? Ah, how did I know? Poor little Drippy. Then again, if he can throw a big shield at the big baddie, then... Oh, look, green chest. If he can throw a shield at the big baddie, then he can pick up a pot. Right? Right. Oop, wrong way. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and cast Spring Lock on this chest real quick. Fish burger, very nice. I think it restores 150 MP. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and open the chest here. Hey, and also a sandwich. That's pretty cool. Compensate for the sandwich that I unfortunately lost. But before you talk to this guy, it's worth noting that you may want to save before continuing onward. I don't know why I decided to skip over that chest. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Here you go, dude. Here's your pot back. Uh, yeah, you made a big fuss about it. Curses? What the heck, man? <laughs> then why did you make such a big fuss about it? Okay. Yeah, you might want to go see a psychologist about that, dude. Hey, 
So you're gonna give us a pot that you, even you can't open? What a ripoff! Exactly, Drippy. Now you're trying to give us a background story to take it. Yeah, you took a useless freaking pot, Oliver. But then again, you are acting kind of suspicious, you little peddler. Oh, really? Oh, every once in a while. Once is one time is good enough. So, is this thing useful, Drippy? Well, if you never seen one, how would he- how would you know he had one? Ah, okay, never mind. Makes sense, I suppose. Heh, <laughs> Alakazam. Heh, <laughs> Pokemon. Heh. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, I have yet to beat Pokemon Red from the re-releases on the 3DS. Me or my boyfriend never managed to do it. He has blue, I have red, and I haven't done it yet. I am just about halfway through the Pokédex. I have 63 Pokémon. I just caught Articuno. And I'm in the Pokémon Mansion right now in Cinnabar Island. So I'm on my 7th gym bat just about. As soon as I get that key. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> and uh, start reading. I'm actually going to play some of that today. I had to stop my Kabuto from evolving into a Kabutops because he has Omnimite and I need that data from that Omnimite. He needs the data for Kabuto. We're trying to be all 151 because I'm surprised that Nintendo left everything in its original form to where you can do the Mew glitch. So. I do have a legitimate Mew from GameStop. But by the time you're watching this, it's in May. But whatever. So the answer to opening this thing is open says a me. But I may have to cut this because I'm not sure the what the game takes as a variation. Like does it have to have hyphens in it or not? I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see in a few moments. Ah, okay. I guess it does have to be open hyphens in it. not. Your right to command me will be judged in battle. Huh? Where? Where is it? Ah! Aha! Now to arms! Oh, 
boss time and gets out, kept me out. Punt. Oh, the, um. The Aladdin reference, boy, I tell you. The Aladdin reference is strong. Ow! I couldn't see behind Johnny's big self, man. No offense, Johnny. <laughs> Ow! Good thing Johnny has a higher defense. What I should have did off screen, which I meant to do, was actually buy treats for my familiars and, fi and feed them. I think he's gonna bring out a big old flame sword, and it's not gonna be good. Yeah. Doesn't Kirby have a sword like that from Return to Dreamer? I'm not sure. Just Kirby in general. But anyway, you may want to level up, and if you plan on metamorphosis, the dang evolving. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. If you plan on evolving your um, familiars, you may want to hold out just for the simple fact of you have this boss fight that you have to do. So I'll kind of hold off on that if I were you, uh, Johnny. Dude. Oh, he's attacking to me. That's actually pretty good. Oh, I was about to use healing touch then grab the blue thing. Okay. Alright, Cory, get out there. Oh, also, in the midst of me training, ow. In the midst of me training, I Cory is eligible to evolve. I just haven't done it yet, only because we have this um, boss fight going on right now. So, I will just hold off on evolving him until after the boss fight. Ow. Be a jerk. I'm like, I'm, thank you, Esther. I was about to say, grab that. I'm liking the fact that he's attacking, attacking me instead of Esther because Esther does not defend. Ow. Ow! Smitey has slightly better defense than Cory, so it's probably best to use Smitey for as much as I can. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Burning Heart! Burning Heart! Mike! <laughs> Come on! That's what I'm talking about. In case you haven't noticed, Golden Glimpse do appear more often against boss fights if you defend effectively against them whenever they do their powered up move. 203, very nice. Okay. Oh! Oh! Apparently there was two! Cause that's Curly's miracle move. Alright! Alright, Curly! That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh, Attack her instead, because I wasn't attacking him. Jerk. I'm surprised he haven't done his other animation. It's quite funny. I don't know if I'm overleveled or if I'm just going against him. Oh, there we go. I think he's about to... Yeah, you may want to hold off. Be careful. Wait for it. And then you have to defend, because he's going to explode. And it's going to do massive damage, and... Yeah, it's going to... It wiped Esther out completely. Jesus. Alright, I have no Phoenix Feathers. I don't know if I can attack. Can I? Oh yeah, I can, but... What little is going to do... There we go. Now this is the move that he's going to change. Or the animation, I should say. Oh, he brought out the flame sword. Oh, that sucks. We might not be, I might not be able to show it off, but eventually he's going to pull out a parasol, a parasol, I should say. So I don't know if he, if he's going to be able to do it. Well, be able to do, not nor more so be able to do it. I don't know if he's gonna do it. That's the better turn. Ah, you missed. How the heck you missed me swinging that big old pot? 
and little old me. Come on, Smitty. Get him. Get him. There we go. Neato indeed. And you guys still get EXP even though Esther died. What a ripoff. But whatever. At least everyone is able to level up with us and Cory, yeah. Oh yeah, Tigger can metamorph uh, evolve too. But I don't have the appropriate sun drops or um, uh, star drops to evolve them right now. I don't know. Let's ask him. He is standing there. Well, floating there, I should say. Why didn't you tell us this? Exactly. Oh, gee, thanks. And now we have access to alchemy. This is how you create things in the game. These are going to be ingredients to actually alchemize an item that he's going to use for us. It's basically a tutorial thing. And the thing I love about alchemy in this game is that you can mix and match just to experiment if you don't have a recipe or formula, I should say. And if you mess it up for whatever reason, the items that you use will go back to you like it doesn't use it, which is great. Not that it matters because it's just the stuff that he just gave us. Let's go ahead and just do that. And that's how you do it. The weapons that it can create is pretty good as well. Alright, so now we got a genie and a colder. So I'm actually going to end the video here. And in the next video, we'll continue onward with our journey. So until then, you guys take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.